Five things everyone should know about ancient oceans. Number one, 56 million years ago, turtles and crocodiles lived at the North Pole. The world was very different. For a start, the continents were all in different positions. There was also, which is probably the most important thing that's different, Earth at the time was ice-free, and so we had no ice caps in the North or South Pole. And some of the evidence that we have for that has been published recently. So, for example, in Antarctica, there's recently been discovered flora and fauna that show that it was kind of like a tropical rainforest. The PETM is the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum. It occurred approximately 56 million years ago and was a major global warming event attributed to a short-lived massive increase of light carbon into the ocean atmosphere system. The source and the mechanism for that is still under investigation, but we believe that the principal source of the carbon into the atmosphere was from methane hydrates, which are stored in deep sea sediments that have the right temperature and pressure conditions to keep methane in a solid state. If those temperature and pressure conditions change, so it becomes a little bit warmer, that methane hydrate can't stay as a solid and then it is released into the ocean atmosphere system, which will be converted to CO2. There was already a background of warming in the early Eocene of between 5 and 6 degrees and it suggested that we may have just reached a certain threshold in terms of global temperature and um, oceanic warmth that kind of pushed these methane hydrate stores over the edge of their limits which then caused a runaway effect in terms of the methane then has been destabilised, it's released into the ocean atmosphere system, that then makes the ocean atmosphere system warmer which then results in the destabilisation of more methane hydrates. So the PETM itself, the Paleocene Eocene Thermal Maximum, was a very short-lived event. It was only about 150,000 years. And you start off with about a 10 to 20,000 year initiation period where you have this massive pulse of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. It's absorbed by the oceans. You see huge changes in the hydrological cycle, massive hurricane intensity changes, oceans warmed. There was a between 5 and 8 degree increase in global temperatures between the equators and the pole. You see a major shift in the flora on land as well as fauna and then also in the oceans. So after this initial 10,000 year period where you have the injection of the carbon, there's about a 60,000 year kind of semi-stable alternate state where everything regulates to an extent in this very high CO2 world with very high temperatures. And then after that, there's about a 70,000 year recovery period where we see this carbon dioxide being reabsorbed back into the atmosphere by silicate weathering processes. And then after that 150,000 year period, it kind of returns to normal. Well, normal for the year scene. One of the reasons why the PETEM is so exciting is that it provides a partial analogy to the modern day increase that we are seeing in atmospheric CO2 as a product of fossil fuel burning.